Howdy folks, Daryl coming at you again. More uh, Mandela Effect Earth changes here, and today we're going to be visiting the Gulf of California and just taking a little run down the west coast of Mexico because I'm pretty convinced myself that there's some fairly densely populated areas that are either coming into or exiting our reality here. So let's just start at the tip. We'll come on down to this stuff here. For any of you who have been following for a while, we know that this here coloration of silty looking stuff, especially combined with a lot of this green sort of color, means there's a lot of change taking place upstream from here and lots of land that's leaving. And as you can see, these are pretty highly populated areas up here that I'm not sure haven't disappeared yet. Like, I don't know, just to look at the way the roads go and stuff in here, I don't know. See, and the fact that as you do try to zoom in on the town, you can't. It's just, it's not there. It's showing you that it should be. See, look at this. It's down to untitled. And look, it was obviously, there was a lot of population in here. <coughs> but, anywho, we won't get too lost on any one place here like I tend to do <laughs> sometime. Yeah, look at this here. Bet you, what is that? No, no, that might be all right yet. That's quite possibly something that's not in trouble yet. All right, let's check out El Golfo de Santa Clara. Because these folk look like they're in trouble, no? Look at all the beach area here. See, this stuff, again, if you've been watching any of these videos, this is bad news for all these people. And some of the clues to look for, we look at the size of this city overall and the population, the density of the population, and, and think of the typical building patterns, like here where the houses all come right to the beach and stuff. That's that's what you're going to see, right? You're not going to see all of this unused area here. And even in here, it's just not natural. And I'll bet you any money, now what's going to happen here when we can see the city is obviously supposed to be here. But already there's, you look at all these side streets, they're not there. We try to zoom in, it's not like they're going to, we haven't zoomed in enough. They're just, this place is disappearing or coming in. I could be wrong like this. I'm guessing it's on its way out only because of all the silt that's being carried in the water, which always indicates land being lost from everything we've watched so far. But see there again, things will change too. It's, this could all disappear in here and then say this one here or any one of these little sandbars because shoots out a little finger and then it hooks around and then it starts filling in and and replaces the land like at first i used to wonder like why why put land there and then take it away and or take the land away and then put it back but when you consider the fact that we've virtually poisoned ourselves right out of existence like there's not too many places I don't think left that just going on their own they do okay like the contamination and poisoning is so much worse than they admit or see look at this place I this thing I bet you isn't even here oh I forgot to show you at the last town but we'll show you at the next one that you know that they're either coming or going and aren't really there because you can't drop in and do a street view. It all disappears on you. 
and I mean, look at the size of that city. See here again, there's the town is still named El Tornil, El Tornil, <laughs> okay, but they ain't there, and this all those like how how natural is that? You don't see that all over and how many miles have we traveled down this coastline already where it's nothing but that so it's all all transforming coming or going and now I just realized I don't think I finished the thought I was on there before I just want to make sure I'm not losing any missing any cities here Damn, and I forgot where he's going again. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh, it'll come back, whatever it was, if it was important at some point. Okay. Uh, yeah, this here deserves a much closer look because if anybody is interested in keeping track, I would bet at least a peso, maybe two, that this stuff here is going to get more and more liquid, and so is this. From here down, it'll send fingers of water out, and this will start draining, this will hook up, and this will really turn into a big inland something, kind of like this shit's doing, right? That's kind of how it starts. This is this is like phase one ish, and there's different colors that you gotta watch for, and different zoom levels that end up being certain things. But you know, all of this, that starting, and then this, and then progresses to this. Here, having serious land loss. Is there any forest even left? See, that's another... Any of you familiar with GE? It used to, the more you zoomed in like that, it didn't just go fuzzy and not focus, it just got grainier and grainier. And it doesn't, the stuff that's coming or going from reality, it doesn't do that grainy thing. It just won't focus for you. Um, Sorry to be hanging around here so long, but I'm trying to find remnants of town. I think, oh man, see, if we would have been here a few days, maybe a week ago, this was probably a heavily populated area down here. I bet you. But that's what I'm looking for, is remnants of city, like the actual streets and stuff. Because I'll bet you there was something there. I don't know, but if anybody knows this, area of Mexico at all. Sure be nice. I wouldn't be surprised if there isn't a city missing there. See, here's one of them fingers that may be coming back already. This was probably solid and now is gone and now this thing... He always, always... The guy doing the work here, if it's uh, someone, they always seem to outline what they're going to color in first. Send out those little sandbar fingers and then fill it all in. Okay, see, look at this place. A resort. Nice swimming pool and everything. Should be a golf course around too somewhere, but... Wow, look at this. How come so few places? But, anyway, let's grab our little dude. There's no way we shouldn't be able to street view on this hotel or resort, whatever here. Right? No. Just like our Earth, flatter than a damn pancake when you drop in here. <laughs> see? Nothing. You can see the blue here where the swimming pool is supposed to be. But, and you can click on street view, ground view all you want. It don't change nothing. It just keeps... Uh-oh. What'd I do? No, oh, what's going on? I didn't do that shit. Oh no, sorry folk. <laughs> Let me pull my ball back up here. It seems to have gotten lost. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Come on.
Gotta hate those wandering balls. <laughs> okay. Damn. Sorry, folks. But I warned you, like, right from the very first video, I ain't no pro. I'm just trying to get the truth out there. Okay. Where were we? I hadn't made any progress at all, have we? We're still way the hell up here at the very tip. So, okay. We're pretty sure we were down in town here. Let's just wait for it to focus. No, we went by and we were at that resort. That's where we were. But here, let's do the example right here. I'll bet you any money. See, look at the size of this city. Are you telling me this wouldn't have Google Street Views? See, look at how the population comes right to the beach like it should. That's, that's what you should see. Houses, road behind, that. Not all this water coming in. <laughs> this is somewhere downstream. We lost another town, I'll bet you. But, anywho, let's grab our little dude. Pick a spot. Pick a spot. Any spot. Hey, it might be going to give it to us here. Cause the streets are lighting up. That's usually a good sign. It is, too. Wow. Okay, so these guys are... seem to be safe for a little while. <laughs> If I was anybody living anywhere where you try to do your drop in there and it won't let you, I'd be a little, I'd be moving. <laughs> I don't know why it spins your globe. I like keeping my north up there, so like you should on a map. Wow, see, look at this. There's a name of a place that, how come? <laughs> it's pretty watery there for any town. I wonder if these guys, they gotta be getting close to being in trouble. Well, maybe not, because we got these fingers here, so I bet you this shit's growing in again already. But all over the world, it's not just North America. We're finding this weird anomaly here where once the land leaks out, like it's just a stage it kind of goes through where you end up with these really long, skinny bits of land like this, and then way too much water behind them like this one here if anyone wants to keep track you'll be able to watch this keep growing and growing but eventually the land from this side will start to follow it in towards the mainland so it's not all lost oh that's the thought i was on that i forgot to finish that it didn't make sense to take away all the land and then put the damn land back and then because that seems to be the pattern all over, but it really does make sense when you consider how poison it is and the fact that it's all got to be cleansed and made right before we can have our home back the way it was. See, uh, these guys are... there's so much stuff here. I hope somebody travels down there enough to tell us what all is missing along here. There's sure lots. For sure. Hey, this looks like it might be starting to grow back in. No, I think we're still on the loss stage because it won't focus. Yeah, not yet. Could be though. I bet you this stuff is coming back in. Look at these poor buggers. Somebody used to live out here. <laughs> Definitely a town. Hey, actually, you know what? Yeah, I, let me think about this and have a look before I get my foot in my mouth. Yeah, I think the erosion is done on this. This ain't, this is coming back now. This stuff here will continue to erode. But I'm, I bet you any money this thing here, this Selena in the lighthouse, I bet you this is a town that's coming in. So we'll have to remember to come back and check on Selena. Man, we're already coming up on 15 minutes, guys. I don't know how far down the coast we're going to make it. But, oh, look, see, here's another one that's still under the water, but it's already named. And the roads are forming already, so he's either, I think he's coming, too, I think. All the, this beach 
shoreline this is gonna stay because it would have eaten in this way first got rid of that and then it puts up the fresh stuff and then it'll send this thing here all this water is going to come in behind holy look at all this that's all going to come out too probably right through here when he was living down here you guys are going to be in trouble you know what senor i think we should get a boat put our sombreros and all our things in the boat because there is water coming yes Hope I ain't offending any Mexican folk out there. Sure don't mean to. I just, I like it. I love all the different accents and things. That's something that we should all kind of get a kick out of and enjoy wherever we travel to. Just trying to get reed See, those are trees, but I don't know, something don't feel right i think this year is gonna keep coming down here but i could be wrong on that one porto lobos wow look at these guys it looks like they could be having some heavy water issues and they're fading i wonder if you can still get a street view here yeah nothing see Here's a good example. Why wouldn't we? I'll make sure I drop on a street. This is what you get. Nothing. All you can see is see the marks of what looked like the roofs of houses and things, but there's nothing here. So this place, it's either on its way in, and see, click street view, click, click, crown view, click, click, click. Nope, nada. Not there yet. Or, well, let me see, is it yet, or no, this poor bugger, I believe, was there, and now not so much. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Porto Lobos, if anybody knows that one, if you could weigh in on whether he's coming or going, I'd be interested to know. See, he's not, I don't even know what to call them, like they're fake sort of this ain't natural there's no proper erosion line and stuff in and I, I i understand you get flat smooth runs of beach but not not row after row after row of it like we're finding all over the world and it doesn't matter if it's beach or rock or whatever it's just way too long and smooth of cuts but that's how they the work starts and then things go on and once this is gonna stay then it does actually erode after a bit let's see if any of these guys are still in existence or in existence yet not looking good the streets are lighting up here you know what i was just wondering there might be people out there thinking, well, it's a Mexican thing because Google don't get the same coverage. I, I don't know. I couldn't swear either way to that, but I doubt it. I think they'd have pretty good coverage, and especially if you're going to buy into their satellite bullshit. You can't have it both ways. If they've got 3,000 plus satellites spinning around our ball all the time, there is absolutely no reason it should take two three four years sometimes never to get updates for google <laughs> it just would not be it's not reality folks and don't feel bad for not questioning those things you just don't you're not because it's all the people you trust your parents your teachers your pastors your everybody tells you and then they reinforce it in everything you see watching global news with the ball behind you and having satellite this and satellite that and the shit's all ground based they would have switched their airline industry guidance systems to satellites i'm sure if it was a superior system and they haven't now look at this look at the size of this town and i'll bet you there's no street view here Hey, there is too, but look, look where it ends. See, here, 
explain that one? Why? Does that look natural to you guys? It looks like it'll give us street view if it's not lying to us on this area of town. But what happened to everything in here? You telling me they just left that a wasteland like that for nothing? Can't see it, but let's drop in. It's still gonna let us have a peekaboo. Let's see what we see. Hmm. Yeah. Something pretty fishy with that story. Again, it's. You got it. Oh, hey, it's doing that thing again. What the hell happened? Shit. I want to get back to... <laughs> oh, no. I don't know why it does that. Well, you know what? Anyways, we're at 20 minutes, so... Maybe we'll do a part two on this one, because it looks like about half of the coast of Mexico left, so... That's what we're going to do, folks. We'll pick up from right here on the next part. Keep this a little bit shorter. Have a good day.